host disorder. The host disorder has three steps. The first step is to add her booking voucher. The way you do that, if the show is $400 or higher, is to click the Redeem Coupons button. Click Redeem Coupons and a new window will open and you enter a code for the next booking voucher in your booking voucher book. It simply needs to be a code that hasn't been used and once you put it in, you hit the OK button or I think you put check and it actually will tell you that it's still available and it'll add $50 to the hostess credit. Then you have the same format that you had for your guests. You simply put in the product code and the quantity. Product code, quantity, product code, quantity until you're done. If you need to add lines, you can add lines and then at the end you hit the total button to get everything to calculate. Once it's all calculated, at the top you'll be able to see how much is still owed to the host or how much the host owes. Party light. It's easy. Now that's all the free products, but what if she also wanted discount products? Well, hit the go button. When you hit the go button, you'll have a choice. Either you'll get the hostess specials for that month. If there are any hostess specials for that month, it'll be available on that next page. And it's usually a tick box. You either want it or you don't. So you tick the box if she wants it, and you leave it blank if she doesn't. And then you move to the next page by hitting the go button. On this last page, you actually have space for you to enter any of the half price items that the host wants. If she wants them, it's optional. She doesn't have to take them. So with the half price items, you'll notice that for every one item that the host is eligible for, there are two lines. And you might be wondering why that is. And it's all about the votives. When votives get entered into the system, even though you have to buy 12 at a time, you're allowed to buy two different fragrances. Now, you probably already knew that, but when you enter into the system, you have to use two units for every one dozen votives. So, for example, strawberry rhubarb is V06272. Quantity, two. That equals one dozen votives. But what if the host wanted half a dozen strawberry rhubarb and half a dozen mango tangerine? Well, in that case, you put V04272 and the quantity 1, and then you put V04, no, V06154, quantity 1, and that would be mango tangerine. And that's why you always have two lines for each one item at half price. Then you hit the go button. Now, this is where the hostess makes her payment. It's actually going to calculate any overage that she had for her free products, and then it's going to include all of the items for her hostess specials, if she ordered them, and any half-price items, and it's a total amount due. She can pay by cash, or she can pay by credit card, same as the guests. And then you move to the next step. Now, the next step is really super simple. It's just how much do you owe Party Light in cash versus how much was paid by credit card. It's the final step. And what you want to do is you want to see how much was paid by credit card. And let's say out of a $500 party that $300 was paid by credit card. That means that you collected $200 in cash. Well, just for the record, that's not your money. That's Party Light's money. So you need to make sure that you give that money to Party Light. Now, you can do that one of two ways. Well, there's more ways than that, but let's just do one of two ways. The first way is to deposit the money into your bank account and let Party Light take it out of your bank account. That's called a direct debit, and Party Light will do it automatically when you tell them to. The second way is to put all of that money into your credit card and to pay the residual amount by your own personal credit card. This is a way to do it if you have the opportunity to put the money onto your credit card. But it's very important that you realize that $200 is not yours. It's not yours to spend, it's not yours to keep, it's Party Light's money. So putting that money into the bank account for either option is really important because you don't want to spend that money and not realize the benefits of the party later. Because on a $500 party, you won't make $200. You'll make $110 initially with your 22%. And so if you spend all $200, you'll actually be negative and that's not something that you want. So take the money, give it to Party Light, and then be able to enjoy the profits when they come in a week or so later. After you have determined which way you're going to pay, either by direct debit or by credit card, 
it's really important that you hit that pr process button. It will then submit the order to Party Light, and it's only at this point in time that all of the credit cards for all of the orders are processed. As you put the order in, the numbers are checked, but not the balances and not the availability of funds. When you hit the button now, that's when all of that information is being processed. Hit the button and cross your fingers. Because if anybody's credit card bounces, the entire show gets put on hold until you can get that money through. So put your fingers together, hope that everything proceeds. And how will you know? Well, you'll either get a box up that says that the card didn't go through, or you'll get a box up that says, are you sure you want to keep going? If you get the second box, that's a good thing. It means everybody's card was processed and you're well, ready to go. If you decide that you're going to use direct debit and have the money taken directly out of your bank account, there is one more step because Party Light wants to make sure that you know that that money is going to be taken out of your account. And so it will ask you one last time, are you sure because the money best be in the account when we try and take it. It's really important that you don't bounce it your own bank account with Party Light. It keeps you in a good credit standing. And after that, a little account summary gets, um, gets produced. You can see who ordered what and everything's done. And now it's time for the next step, which is another video. Ta!